Today I'm going to show you how to replace a bad caliber. Uh, as you can see here, I've got the car jacked up, uh, supported by a jack stand, and the pressure's off that jack that you see in the picture, but uh, it's just there just in case the stand gives away. Uh, first thing I will say is to make sure that you do put plenty of support underneath that car. You do not want it falling while you're working on it. Uh, but you'll see me here, I'm taking off the tire. And the first thing we're going to do is check that rotor because we just had replaced it, not maybe, well, maybe a week before that. Uh, what happened here is we started to see that we were having some issues with the brake light coming on. So I started doing some inspection on it, seeing it was leaking fluid. Uh, funny thing about that is, is that when we replace the original brakes here, you can see here I'm loosening up the caliber bolts. You want to loosen those up and pull those out. But anyways, what had happened was it started leaking fluid around that caliber. Uh, when we took it apart originally, it was frozen into place. So we figured we could just pop it back and it would be fine. But that didn't happen to be the case. Um, and at first I thought it was just the caliber. So I went out and bought a caliber to replace it. And you can see here I'm still taking these caliber bolts out. But you'll see here in a second I noticed something when I'm pulling it out. So I got a little bit of a surprise here. So check your bolts, make sure they're in good shape. Uh, if you're doing something like this, uh, you wanna make sure they're in decent shape before you reuse them. Now I'm taking these off right here. You'll see in a second my eye catches something. <laughs> now there it is. Uh, I end up finding a hole in the brake hose going from the main brake line to the uh, caliber itself. Now, I don't think this was originally the issue. The original issue, I believe, was the frozen caliber. Uh, but I think we were pumping so much into it, it popped the hose. So we'll end up having to replace that. So see, I've got it off. This is the old one that you're seeing right here. If you look at the old one right here, you'll see that uh, right outside the seal here was all busted. The, uh, the boot on the outside of it was had holes in it. So that's probably played a little part of it in getting corroded and staying frozen. But uh, you also see that I took off the brake hose. All oh, that brake hose you see there in my hand has a nice good hole in it right around that area that I'm picking up here. So we ended up having to replace that. Now caliber itself, depending on where you're at and where you live, that thing cost me about 40 bucks. It's remanufactured. Uh, it has a core charge on it, so you get part of that back. But You'll see on this hose here, it has a hole in it. Now, um, I had to travel to three different places to get it. The car is a 2004 Crown Vic. Um, but you'll see right here, uh, I did end up getting one. It was like a whopping 22 bucks to go with it. So uh, I try to keep my repairs cheap but thorough. Uh, but I end up having to replace that with the caliber as well. So here's a new caliber or remanufactured caliber, if you will. Um, you'll see it's in pretty good shape. So we're going to hook that hose to that. Now you see that hole right there on the brake hose that goes from the main line to the caliber. Uh, there's an aluminum block at the end of it. And that screw right there actually has a hole in it where the brake fluid comes through. You'll see here I'm a little out of picture and frame. But the important part about that is that if you look at it, there's two uh, washers on it. And that's where it would go. The washers, you want to make sure that you put one underneath the head of the screw between the screw top of the, the head of the screw and the aluminum block. And then you want to put one underneath the aluminum block. Reason for that is when you tighten them down, it makes a good seal uh, from that block to the caliber. So I'm showing you here, there's the hole in the screw. And this is where you would put the washers. And there's a new caliber. And there's a pitch in my mug. <laughs> All right, so you can see here we're going to install the hose first. Now, I'm going to give you a word of advice here. This is before um, I put the caliber and everything else back together. Keep that top screw, if you have a screw on yours, depending on the car you have, loose. Um, that helps you to be able to move it around a little bit. The other thing I would recommend is when you're hooking up that main brake line to make sure you use a line wrench. Um, I tried to use a regular wrench at first and then I could already see it rounding out the top of the uh, line going to it. 
So here you'll see I'm using that wrench. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that back into the top of that adapter there. Well, this took a little bit. It, it was not as easy to get it on there as I thought it would be. All right, so there you go. And again, I'm going to remind you to make sure you lose a line wrench. If you don't have one, they're not that expensive. If not, be very careful. So there you go. I think mine was a 10 millimeter, if I remember right. Now we've got it hooked back up there. So now we're going to take the caliber, the new one, and we're going to hook the new brake or put the brakes back on it. Uh, there's no need to replace them. Uh, it was just done the week before. If you have a hard time putting them on there, you can just take a screwdriver and, and fiddle with the clip and get them on there. So I put those on before instead of having to do it after I hooked it up. So now we're going to go ahead and install it. Um, what I like to do when I do this, I, uh, I like to put my bolts in there and just trying to get them finger tight. On these brakes here, I've done several different sets of brakes, but this one here, you had to get the top piece in first before you pushed them all the way in. So any of you Crown Vic owners out there would probably know that, but um, so there we go. You get the bolts back in. Now this video here, uh, I learned my lesson with this one a little bit. I need to get a light under there so you can kind of see the components a little better, but Learn something new all the time. Sorry, keep getting those on there. Now we're gonna we're gonna end up here in a second. Here we're gonna end up hooking this aluminum, uh, the aluminum block there in line to the caliber. Go ahead and tighten those up a little bit. So here we're going to go ahead and hook that up. Now, one thing I will say during this whole process right here is to make sure that you snug that uh, bolt in there between the aluminum block and caliber. Uh, snug it so make sure you don't get any leaks. Uh, you can use a, a torque wrench if you want. I just didn't have one handy at the moment. So... Let's make sure you see there it's hooked up just like that. Now I'm going to tighten this up. Like I told you a little bit ago, make sure you keep that loose when you're trying to adjust that around. So now the only thing left to do really is to bleed the brakes. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to bleed brakes. If you need one of those, there are tons of them all over YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the bleeder screw here, and I'm going to go ahead and do some break, break, yeah, break bleeding. Um, one thing I will say, uh, I've seen videos where these have been replaced and they only do the one side uh, when they bleed the brakes. Uh, I tried it, but I had a very, the pedal was very loose and uh, pretty sm smushy to the floor. So I decided to go ahead and do all four. And it helped out quite a bit. So well, I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick video. Um, if you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, sorry I've done a lot of videos lately, but uh, it's just been kind of time consuming lately. I want to do more like this. I kind of enjoy the tutorial stuff. So if 
got any questions, please feel free to ask. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. All right. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time.